Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see all about how to read an XML file from Azure Blob Storage. As part of this use case, we will read the XML file present in the Azure Blob Storage using Spark Pool in Azure Synapse Analytics. The prerequisites for this video is, we need to have an XML file, we need to have an active Azure Synapse Analytics workspace, and a Spark pool which is up and running. The steps for implementing this use case are, first we need to install the XML package in Apache Spark, then we need to upload the XML file in a container in Azure Blob Storage, then we need to grant the storage blob data contributor access to the user for that container. Next, we need to create a notebook in Azure Synapse Analytics to read the XML file. The last step is to run the notebook to view the data. As a first step, we have to download the XML file to parse the XML data in Apache Spark. For that, we have to download the Databricks Spark XML package. I have already downloaded this jar file in my system. We have to upload this jar file in the Synapse Analytics workspace. Let me go to Synapse Analytics. In the workspace packages, we have to upload this jar file. I have already uploaded this jar file. Now we have to select the Apache Spark pool and select the Spark pool and click packages. We have to select workspace packages and select the jar file and click select. By doing this, this jar file will be installed in the Apache Spark pool. Since I have already done this, let me cancel this. The next step is we need to have an XML file to be passed. For that, I have an XML file here. which has list of book IDs and its corresponding author, title, genre, price, publish date and description. I am going to parse this XML file and read the data. As the next step, we have to upload the books.xml file in the Azure Blob Storage. Let me go to Azure Blob Storage. I have uploaded this XML file inside my container XML data inside my storage account DL Fetus. And I have also granted storage blob data contributor access to this user. Let me click IAM and let me click View Access. Here I have granted storage blob data contributor access. I have explained the steps on how to give storage blob data contributor access to the user in my previous video. I will give the link to that video in the description. Now let me go to the container. And select the container. Here we have to specify the access level as container anonymous read access for containers and blobs. We are doing this so that we can access this container from Synapse Analytics. Now our XML file is uploaded in the container. The next step is to create a notebook in Azure Synapse Analytics. Let me go to Azure Synapse Analytics. And I have created a notebook called XML read and I have added this code. In this code, I have imported the Spark session and I have imported the libraries to create a data frame and I have mentioned the path. This is the path to read the XML file. I have used Windows Azure Blob Storage which is WASBS and I have mentioned the container name at 
azure blob storage name and at the end i have mentioned the xml file name i'll be using this path name in the data frame the next step is i have created a data frame in the format xml and my root tag is book and i have mentioned the path name here at the end i have displayed the data frame let me run this data frame my xml is parsed here is the xml data in relational format you can use this data which is in relational format for further processing i hope you like this video and i am sure that you learned something new today i'll see you in yet another use case thank you